Spirit, four builders. And you find these four builders in Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 11. Okay? Ephesians chapter 4 and what? Verse 11. But I've given you what? What it says in Ephesians 4, 11. And he gives some apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, and four teaching pastors. So see the four carpenters? How many see the four carpenters? So who is going to bring down the works of darkness? Who is going to destroy the horns? Huh? Who is going to destroy Ephesians 4, 11? The carpenters will destroy them. Because these carpenters, they have workers. No carpenter builds a house by himself, right? He has what? Laborers. How many know we are laborers in the big vineyard? So we are laborers and we are soldiers. So every carpenter has laborers. And you are my laborers here together, right? As I, I'm, I'm the pastor here. I'm the carpenter. You are the laborers. We're working together to build. To build. And as we build, we're going to pull down the strongholds of the enemy. And pull down. The, so we have apostles are the sent ones. The prophets are the one that points out and point you, point you to what's coming. Uh, the evangelists are the one that's... They are the one that speaks out and the teaching pastor are the one that works out. Amen. They have the work to do. Amen. So here it is. God has established, he has established the, 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 the pastors or the apostles rather are the sent one that he established, they established God's uh, sovereignty. The apostles go and establish God's sovereignty. The uh, prophets point out what, what, is, what is coming forth. Point out what is coming forth. The evangelist spreads the message and the teaching pastors his job is to win, consolidate, disciple, and send. Hallelujah. And church, if we work together, if we work together, we have the backings. And what's the backing? The Most High God, El Elyon. We that dwell in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Amen. We have, we have the Most High, El Elyon. He is supreme in position. We, he's Almighty, El, Shad El Shaddai. He's absolute in power. Absolute in power. And He's Lord. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High, El Elyon. Amen. I want you to get this. Don't, don't lose it. Okay. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High, the Most High there is, He is high. He is supreme in position. Shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Almighty there is El Shaddai, means He's absolute in power. Are you receiving that? Absolute in power. Okay. Shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And and I will see of the Lord. The Lord there is Yahweh. Yahweh meaning He's a covenant keeping God. If He made a covenant with you, He will not break it and you will not fail. He made a covenant keeping God. I will see of the Lord. He's my refuge. My God. Word God there is the word Elohim. My God. My creator. Where nothing is impossible. That is our soul. That is our backing. Amen. This God who is supreme in position, God who is absolute in power, God who has a covenant that would not break it, God who, who, who is a creator where nothing is impossible. So if we're in warfare, we have this backing. Amen? It's like the U.S. soldiers going to fight war. They have the whole backing of the U.S. Army and the whole backing of the, 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 the chief commanding officer and everybody else backing. The whole of America backing them up. We have God backing us up. As the carpenters build, and the laborers we work together. So when you're praying, pray with confidence, man. Pray with power. Pray with anointing. Declare, decree, promulgate. You know, proclaim, pronounce, speak forth, demand, claim, make demands. Demand that the devil do certain things. Command him to do certain things. Amen. And when you're speaking to God, reverence the sovereignty of God. Amen. Are you with me? Can we do it tonight? Can we do it tonight? I'm going to stop there because I want us to pray. All right, there's much more that, but I, I think you have you have heard enough there to set your mind at ease. Do not, you're not praying vain or vague. You're praying according to knowledge. How I many you learned something there? Amen. You know, you keep keep thinking about what I just said and go through your, go through these scriptures and familiarize yourself with it. Get a queen. When we talk about warfare, that is warfare, and everything is based on, on in, in that category. Okay. Joel, Zechariah, Psalm 91, Ephesians. You got it? You keep those scriptures, folks, and that will transform your life and transform your prayer life. And make your prayer life, turn your prayer life into a life of prayer. Let's all stand. Glory to God. As we, everybody has 
uh, uh, prayer request in your hand. And those of you who have it, you have a number. I want you to come according to your number. So all those who have the prayer request, come to the front. And the rest of you, all of you come down here between these benches. We'll come closer. Come closer. Everybody come right up front. And the rest of you that with the, with the uh, prayer line. I want you to start from a prayer line right here. And stand here with the paper. Okay, let's start with number one, two, three, four, five, all the way down to the last number. Okay? So start with number one to my, le to my left. And put position yourself. Okay? And we're going to pray accordingly. All right? Hallelujah. The rest of you come and stand. Just come between these three benches here. Fill up these three benches here. Only those who have the numbers stand in front here, and we're going to pray. You gather in there, so you'll be joining hands to pray and believe God for a breakthrough tonight. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. You have number one, number two, go. Number three, come on. Just find a, find a place to stand, stand where you're supposed to stand. Okay. I'm going to hand you the microphone, and now, now if, if, if each one of you take 10 minutes, we'll be here all night. All right? So what I want you to do, just just pray. Short, sweet, concise, get to the point. When, you, when you're in prayer requests like this, you don't have to give God uh, a whole lecture. And when you're praying, you don't lecture God. You ask, you request with confidence. Not rep don't, be, don't repeat yourself. You ask and say, Lord, this is what we need. This is what we desire. I want us all to agree. Amen? Okay? We're going to agree for this request. And as we agree, and you reach out together with them, pray. be in agreement with them as they pray. And let's support, let's, let's, let's believe and bombard the airwave for God to give us a breakthrough. So be brief and be concise, okay? And remember again, when you're praying, when you're praying, you address the Lord for who He is, make a request and thank Him for it, okay? Amen? And we're going to praise and agree together. Lift your hands and thank the Lord, everyone, for what He's about to do right now. Praise the Lord. You just swing, come back this way a little bit. Come center yourself here. Praise the Lord. Thank you. We want to join with those our viewing audience too. We want you to join us in prayer as we pray for our nation. We pray for our families. We pray for our churches, individuals, and needs in the church. We want to believe God for a breakthrough. We want national revival, a national breakthrough. And from now until election, until election, this church is going to embark into a lot of prayer, a lot of prayer meetings. We want to believe God for our nation. Just as Guyana, believe God for, for their nation to experience change. We're going to believe God for our nation to have revival and national transformation. All right, we're going to believe God. I want everybody to believe God. And uh, just come, you take the microphone, you stand here and, and pray. Okay? Praise the Lord. When you finish praying, go back the end way. Praise you, Jesus. Father, we exalt and magnify you. You are king and you are Lord. You are our master and you are our savior this evening, mighty God. And Father God, this evening, we exalt you, Jesus. You are our high priest. You are our intercessor. You are our Lord this evening, mighty God. And we humbly come before you, O oh God, acknowledging, O oh God, your plans and your purpose for our lives this evening, mighty God. And today, God, I pray, Father, for believers to experience true worship, people who would sense the glory of God this evening, Father. I pray, God, for an anointing and pouring of God's glory in your church this evening as your people, O oh God, will acknowledge you, God, not only with our lips but also with our hearts, my God. God. We ask you, O oh God, to give us a heart transplant this evening, O oh God. Give us a hunger and a thirst after you this evening, O oh God. You desire us to worship you, O oh God, in spirit and in truth this evening, O oh God. Tonight, Lord, I ask you, O oh God, for a spirit, O oh God, of worship to manifest itself in your church, O oh God. Father God, let a manifestation, O oh God, of your spirit, O oh God, be in our assembly and the assemblies across this nation, O oh God. We ask you, O oh God, for a prayer revival in the the churches, oh God, across our nation and the nation of the world today, oh God. Lord, you desire your people, oh God, to truly humble ourselves, oh God, and come before you, praying unto you, making our petitions and our requests known unto you, God. So Father, tonight, oh God, help us to experience true worship, God. Help us, Lord, to be a people who would sense your glory this evening, Father. And in the end, we will not fail to give you all the honor, all the glory, all the praise, and all the thanks as we worship you in the beauty of holiness. Father, we give you thanks and praise in Jesus' mighty and matchless name this evening. Father, we worship you. We worship you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. Lord, we bless and worship you, O oh God. We give you all the praise, all the honor, all the glory, O oh God. We come with 
before you, O oh God, because you are the King of kings. You are the Lord of lords, O oh God. You are the great I am that I am, O oh God. You are everything to us, O oh God, everything in us, O oh God. Lord, your ears are not heavy that, we can, that you cannot hear, O oh God, neither your hands short that you cannot reach, O oh God. Heavenly Father, we come before you because you are sovereign, O oh God. And Lord, we stand in a gap, O oh God, and lift up every believer before you, O oh God. Heavenly Father, Lord, you chose these people, O oh God, for your purpose, O oh God, for your reasons, O oh God. Hallelujah. And Lord, we pray, O oh God, that they continue, O oh God, continue to search you, O oh God, continue to seek you, O oh God. Continue, O oh God, in your church, O oh Lord, in prayer, O oh God. Hallelujah. Lord, I pray, O oh God, that the desire in their hearts, O oh God, become from you, O oh God, not from this world, O oh God. Not looking on the things, O oh God, but seek you first, uh, the kingdom of God and his righteousness, O oh God. Lord, I thank you, O oh God. I pray, O oh Lord, that you continue to preach your word, O oh God, not in the, the churches, O oh God, but going out, O oh God, into all the worlds and preaching the gospel, O oh God. Lord, giving themselves wholly and, O oh Lord, and, and totally to you, O oh God, surrendering all to you in the name of Jesus. Dear God, I pray, O oh Lord, even, O oh God, that you give them understanding and discernment, O oh God. Lord, to know the signs of the times, O oh God. Heavenly Father, Lord, that they will pick up their cross and follow you, O oh God. Lord, Lord, that we will not study, O oh God, the schisms, the things that, of this world, O oh God, the things in this church, Lord, no small things, O oh God. But now is not a time for pettiness, O oh God. But now is a time to stand up and show forth the light that Christ has given us, O oh Lord, to be salt in this world, O oh God, to make a difference in this world, O oh God. Heavenly Father, Lord, I pray, O oh God, that you place it in us, O oh God, understanding of your word, O oh God, that when we go out there, O oh Lord, we wouldn't be fumbling, O oh God, but we will be sure, O oh God, standing upon your word of the Lord, O oh God, and Lord, letting people know the goodness and the graciousness of the Lord, O oh God. Heavenly Father, Lord, we even lift, oh Lord, we pray, O oh God, that you place an obedient heart in us, O oh God, Lord, that we will revere you, O oh God, Lord, we will respect you, love you, obey you, O oh God, and love, Lord, and just give all to you, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, I pray, O oh Lord, that we will be obedient to your word, O oh God. Not studying what anyone say in this world, O oh God. But Lord, what matters is what you say, O oh God. What you say, O oh God, in your word, O oh Lord. Heavenly Father, I pray, O oh Lord, that you will continue to stand upon you, O oh God, with everything, O oh God, laying down our hearts, our lives, O oh God, to you, O oh God, and walking, O oh God, in the way that you have called us to walk, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, we thank you, O oh God. We pray it, O oh Lord, and we believe it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise you, Jesus. My God, my God, there is no one like you, Lord. Father, oh God, through you, oh God, that we, are your saints, can come into your throne this evening, oh God. My God, to seek your face tonight, oh God. Father, we do not seek your hands, oh God, but we seek your face tonight, my God. Father, oh God, you call us watchmen for you tonight, my God. Father, you call us, oh God, in this part of the vineyard tonight, my God, to call upon the name of the living God this evening, my God. Our Yeshua, my God, this evening. And Father, oh God, we pray, oh God, for this evening, oh God, we pray for unity in the church this evening, oh God. Father, we pray, oh God, that you're going to bind us together in cords of love that cannot be broken, my God. Father, oh God, we pray, oh God, that there will be no dissimulation between us this evening, oh God. For Lord, there was no breadth and length in you this evening, oh God. There was no height and depth in you this evening for love, my God. You give it all for us this evening, oh God. And Father, I pray, oh God, that we will bind our hearts together in unity, my God. Father, oh God, we will keep our eyes upon the prayer this evening, oh God. Father, we will keep our minds, oh God, on the prize this evening, oh God. We will keep our minds on the purpose that we were caused to do, oh God. Father, I pray, oh God, that Lord, we would unite our love in one accord this evening, oh God. We would unite for the purpose this evening, oh God, to stand as a generation we was called for, oh God, to fight that war of faith this evening, oh God. Because, Lord, you said the battle belongs to you, oh God, for we are a chosen people, my God, for you, oh God. Father, you called us, oh God, out, oh God, of this marvelous dark, oh God, into your wonderful light, my God. And this evening, oh God, I pray pray that you bind us together. You hold us with the two hands this evening, oh God. You hold us with that right hand of righteousness this evening, oh God. And do not let us go, oh God, that we will bind our faith and our strength and our love together, oh God, to overcome the enemy this evening, oh God. And Father, oh God, we pray, oh God, that 
unite us, oh God. You pray, oh God, for humility and among the church leaders and body of believers this evening, oh God. Father, intervene, my God. Holy Spirit, intervene, oh God. Move in a mighty way, oh God, upon our hearts this evening, oh God. That, Lord, we, oh God, will truly open our eyes to see the things of you this evening, oh God. Lord, move, oh God, the spirit man within us, oh God. Revive it, oh God, and refresh a fire in us this evening, oh God. To stand up for you this evening, oh God. To stand up for the purpose that you have called us out to do, my God. Father, and I just pray, oh God, that, Lord, we're going to keep ourselves in humility this evening, oh God. Humbling ourselves to you, my God. Surrendering our will to your will this evening, oh God. Lord, declaring that you are God of our lives this evening, oh God. And fulfilling your purpose, oh God. And walking in victory with you this evening, oh God. Because, Lord, you said, oh God, you give us power and authority over the enemy this evening, my God. And, Father, we would stand up as saints and declare it of our lives this evening, oh God. And, Father, oh God, I pray, oh God, that, Lord, you're going to break down all all the walls, oh God, of racialism, of cultural, my God, and dominational walls this evening, my God. Father, oh God, we pray for a mighty move of your spirit this evening, oh God. A mighty move of your Holy Ghost this evening, oh God. That Lord, they're going to sweep, oh God, people off their feet this evening, oh God. And give them hearts of flesh, oh God. Minds of understanding, oh God. That Lord, you're a God when you died on that cross, oh God. You did not die, oh God, for color, oh God. You did not die, oh God, for hair looks and what, what we think, oh God, is this fleshly things, oh God. But Lord, you died for our sins, my God. You died that we can have life and have it more abundantly, my God. And Lord, I pray that they would understand, oh God, the purpose, oh God, for you this evening, oh God. That Lord, my God, that you're going to break it down and bring love. You're going to break it down and bring unity. My God, you're going to break it down and bring hope and understanding, oh God. That Lord, your name will be exalted in all the earth this evening, oh God. And your name will be higher lifted up. We live to glorify you, Lord. Lord, in no other name but the name of Jesus. All powerful God, Father God, this evening you are El Elyon, Lord, the God of the Most High this evening, Lord. And Father God, we look to you this evening, Lord, the author and finisher of our faith, Lord. Lord, you are Jehovah Rapha, Lord. We belong to you, Lord. You own us, Lord. You created us to worship you and to praise you, Lord. And Father God, I come to you this evening, Lord, and this is my request, Lord. We are going after souls, Lord. Lord, I pray that you strengthen this team that is going out on a mission field, Lord. Anoint them, Lord, and give them your favor, Lord. Father God, your word says, for the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than it do as it so piercing through the divine and asunder of soul and spirit out of the joints and marrow. Father God, let your word go forth with power, Lord. And let your word penetrate every environment, Lord. Father God, dispatch your warrior angels and surround the steam, Lord. Lord, anoint them and bless them with warrior angels and link angels, Lord. So that no darkness can come around them, Lord. Lord, you are Jehovah Gibor, Lord, the mighty man of war. Fight this battle, Lord. Lord, the way your word say, the battle is mine. We, we commit this battle into your hands this evening, Lord. We are taking back souls, Lord. We are taking back our families and our household, Lord. Lord, you just have your way this morning. Lord, your word say, it's not by might, it's not by power, but it's by your Holy Spirit this evening, Lord. Lord, there shall no evil be falling, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. Holy Spirit, draw these souls, Lord. Have your way, Lord. Father God, you said, command my hand. Father God, your air is not heavy, nor your hand is so that you can bring down and touch, Lord. Father God, we want to see your inevitable supernatural intervention on this mission field. Lord, draw souls, Lord. Let them come to you, Lord. Father God, suck us with your Holy Spirit. 
close every door of the enemy and let your sweet presence flow, Lord. Father God, you are the author and finisher of our faith this evening, Lord. You are returning, Lord, for a church without spot or wrinkle. And Lord, prepare us for the rapture, Lord. I seal this prayer in no other name but in the mighty and powerful name. Praise God. Father, we come to your throne one more time. Hallelujah. We thank you that we can come boldly to your throne this evening with our petition, Lord. Lord, from your word, we know that we, we, that we are wrestling against, we are not wrestling against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers and spiritual weakness in high places, Lord. We are seeing it manifesting in the world today, Lord. We see the underworld, we see the underworld flourishing, Lord, with drugs and guns and ammunition, Lord. We, we see the devil making havoc among the young children in homes, oh Lord, God. Father, we're living in this sin sick, oh Lord, with all these things happening in our lives, Lord. But Lord, we also know, we also know, Lord Jesus, that you have endured us with power. And Lord, in, you, in Luke chapter 10, verse 19, you give us power, Lord. You, you give us power over the powers of the enemy. You give us power to trample upon serpents and scorpions and over all the powers of the enemy, Lord. You have given us power over all the powers of the enemy. And Lord, this evening, with a united force together, we, as we join our hearts and our minds together, our spirits together, Lord, we take authority this evening and we invoke that power that you have given unto us to pull down all the strongholds of the enemy, Lord. Pull down all the strongholds of the enemy, all the powers of witchcraft, necromancy, oh God, generational curses, Lord, the strong, the, the strong man, the territorial demons, oh Lord, Father, the, the spirit behind all the drugs and ammunition that destroying children. Lord, you give us power over them. You give us power to trample upon the powers of darkness. And we take authority of that power. We invoke that power. And we pull it down in the name of Jesus. We nullify the plans of the enemy. We bring it to null and void. We destroy every work, every plan in the name of Jesus. And we take authority. And we, we count the enemy, the works of the enemy in our lives, in our family, and in this country. Lord, powerless. Because you have given us power over the powers of the enemy. The enemy has no power over us if we don't give him power, Lord. And Lord, we are not going to give him power over us, Lord. We are going to stand on your word because your word is a sure foundation. And Lord, we're standing on your word and your promises, Lord. And we take authority in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Father, we bless you. Father, this evening I come before your throne of grace and mercy. Humbly, O oh Lord God, but boldly, O oh Lord God. Boldly because you removed that veil that we could come this evening as your people. O oh Lord God, we come to you, O oh Lord God, to make a request known, O oh Lord God. Father, today, O oh Lord God, we see what the enemy is trying to do with the families of this nation and the world at large, O oh Lord God. But, O oh God, in your word in Genesis 3, you promise a seed. And today, O oh Lord God, we know today that you are restoring the family back again, O oh God. Your blood that you shed on that cross 2,000 years ago, it went down to restore man and the family by extension, O oh my God. Father, today, O oh Lord God, I pray, O oh God, that your power and your anointing be restored back to the family, O oh God. Satan, I serve you notice tonight. You have no power and no authority over the family. You are rendered powerless because of the blood of Calvary and because of the church of Jesus Christ today. And Father, your word says in Ephesians, you have given us four builders today and today, oh Lord God, we are going to build the church. We're going to build the homes. We're going to restore the family with your help. It is not by might, it's not by power, but it's by your spirit tonight. And Holy Spirit, we depend upon you all those who are backslide, 
those who have turned away. Holy Ghost, I pray that you put a hook in their jaw tonight and bring them back into your house. Where will they go? Who will they turn to tonight? Because you are the words of life. Father, tonight I speak forth. I declare tonight in this assembly that the young people, oh Lord God, they will be Holy Ghost filled tonight. They will be fire baptized as never before. There will be a generation marching through this land. Deliverance is their song and healing in their hands tonight, my God. There will be a chosen generation, my God. A holy priesthood tonight, my God. Father, tonight, oh God, I pray for all those dysfunctional homes, oh God, that they will start back to function, oh God. Where they have lost, oh Lord God, they will pick it back up and build again, oh God. And I pray for restoration. I pray for healing. I pray for deliverance, oh God. And I pray for salvation in these homes, oh God. Strong homes, oh God, means a strong nation. A strong church, oh God. And a strong village tonight, my God. Father, I pray for restoration, oh God. Lord, I pray, oh Lord God, that the people, oh Lord, throughout this land will find themselves in your house, oh God. Every time that doors is open, my God. Oh, Lord God, the church doors is like heaven's doors, oh God. Whether we can come, oh Lord God, we can cry out, we can worship, oh God. We can make our requests known in the temples before you. And you will hear our prayer. And you will answer our cries tonight, oh God. Lord, we stand in this church tonight, oh Lord God. You hear our cries from this little village in Forest Park, oh God. If nobody wants to do it tonight, we stand up, oh God. We will make a difference tonight in this nation, oh God. We will stand up and proclaim the truth of the gospel, oh God. For your coming is at hand, my God. Lord, I pray for holiness, oh God. In your house, oh God. You said in your world, without holiness, no man shall see you, oh God. Where will it start, oh Lord God? It will start at your house, oh God. Father, I pray that your people, oh Lord God, will deem themselves holy before you, oh God. They'll remember that you're a holy God and you demand righteousness and holiness, my God. Touch our minds tonight, Holy Spirit. Touch our heart. Restore tonight and revive that spirit within us again, O oh God. That we speak forth and declare your glory, your power, and your soon coming, O oh God. Father, hear our cry tonight, O oh Lord God. And we call it done by faith because we know tonight, O oh God, the answer is already on its way, oh God. We thank you for what you're going to do, oh Lord God. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah, Hallelujah Lord. We give you praise. We give you yes. honor. We give you the glory tonight, yes, Jesus. Jesus. Lord, tonight, oh God, Father, as I stand before you tonight, Lord. Yes. Lord, I stand in the gap, oh God, Father, for husbands and wives, oh God. Yes. Lord, for households tonight, O oh God, Father. Lord, for the ones who have broken marriages tonight, O oh God. Lord, for those, O oh God, Father, who are facing their troubles right now, O oh Lord. Father, you know them by name and nature tonight, O oh God. Lord, tonight, Holy Spirit, just take control, O oh God, Father. Lord, let your words of wisdom flow, O oh God, tonight, O oh God. Lord, you know, Father, our troubles in our house, O oh Lord. Father, it starts with Father with, our, with husbands and wives, oh God. Lord, Father, they are the leaders of their household, oh God, Father. Lord, I commit them into your hands tonight, oh God, Father. Lord, I pray for direction upon their life, oh God, Lord. Lord, I pray, oh God, Father, that they will remember, oh God, Father, that covenant that made at this altar, Lord. Lord, they made a covenant with each other, Lord, and Father, most importantly, with you, oh God. Lord, Father, let them not forget, O oh God, Father, this covenant that they hold, O oh God, Father. Lord, that this covenant will hold them, O oh God, Father, as one, O oh Lord. Lord, tonight I pray, O oh God, Father, that you have your divine intervention in their lives, O oh God. Lord, I pray, O oh God, Father, that they will continue to love each other, O oh Lord. Father, that they will find that lost love, O oh Lord, Father. Lord, that your grace, O oh God, Father, will pour upon their lives right now, Jesus. Lord, I pray for their children tonight, O oh God. Father, Lord, you know, oh God, Father, what they are facing upon right now, Lord. Lord, I pray, oh God, Father, 
that you wrap them around your hands, oh Lord, Father. You keep them, oh God, Father. By number your love, oh God, Jesus. And Lord, Father, help them, oh God, to be strong, oh God, Father. And Lord, help them to be examples, oh God, Father. Lord, tonight, I pray, oh God, Father, that they will not forget to be committed unto you, oh God, Father. Lord, I pray, oh God, that you remind them, oh God, Father, that they have to be committed unto you, oh God, Father. That strong covenant, oh Lord, Father, that spiritual connection, oh Lord, Father, they will continue to be plugged in to you, oh God, Father, with your word, oh God, and Father, your will be, will be done in their lives, oh God, Jesus. Lord, I pray, oh God, Father, that men, Lord, husbands, Lord, Father, they'll be leaders, Lord. Father, they'll be living epistles for Jesus Christ tonight, oh God. Lord, that they will be the support, that pillar of support, oh God, Father, of Jesus, Lord. Help them, oh God, Father, to be ambassadors for Jesus Christ. Let them be radicals, oh Lord, Father. And Lord, that the mothers, oh Lord, Father, that spiritual connection, oh God, Father, they are the spiritual head of the house, oh Lord. Lord, Father, they will bring their children together Lord. Father, they will join hands together, Lord. And Father, they will pray as one, O Lord. As your words declare, O God, Father, for me and my house, so we will serve the Lord Jesus. Lord, I pray, O God, Father, touch them, O God, Father, apply your blood tonight, Lord. Yes. Father, for even our, for broken marriages tonight, Lord, Father, I pray restoration upon their life, Jesus. Lord, hook them at the draw and bring them to the cross of the feet tonight, O God. Lord, I apply the blood on their life, Jesus. Lord, that you have your way, O God, in their lives, Lord. Lord, I pronounce, O oh God, Father, total blessings, Lord, Father, total divine intervention, O oh Lord Jesus. And Lord, that you will have your way, O oh God, Lord. And Father, this divorce, O oh God, Father, that is happening right now in this world, Lord. Father, let them know this is not of you, O oh God, Father. Remind them that the covenant that they made, Lord. Lord, that they will know that they have to bind this covenant, Lord. It's a relationship, Lord, a contract, a binding contract that they have with each other and with you, O oh Lord. Lord, I pray, O oh God, Father, that they will that they will find some sort of way, O oh Lord, Father, to come to you, O oh Lord, Father. Bring their minds, bring their body unto subjection unto you tonight, O oh Lord Jesus. Lord, I pray, O oh God, just have your way, O oh Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we reverence your presence tonight, Lord. We thank you, O oh God, that we serve our God this evening, not that, that is not made with the hands of men, but we serve the true and the living God this evening, the God that is greater than all this evening, Father. And Lord, we have come this evening, O oh God, to petition you this evening, O oh God, on behalf of our country, O oh God. Father, your word said, O oh God, Father God, that, that, that Lord, that, Lord, we ought to pray for our governments, oh God. We ought to pray for those that are in authority this evening, Father God. And we bring our president and our prime minister and our parliamentarians before you this evening, Father God. We bring them because we desire change in this country, oh God. We desire, oh God, transformation in this country, Father God. And, Lord, we pray for our prime minister, especially this evening, oh God, that you will touch her, oh God. And pray that you will give her the courage at this time to stand, oh God, the strength that she needs, oh God, to make decisions, oh God, pertaining to this country, Father God. Father, we pray, oh God, for your wisdom to be upon her, oh God. Father, we pray, oh God, this evening that you will save our president, you will save our prime minister, oh God. Your word said, oh God, righteousness exalt a nation, but sin is a reproach to any people, oh God. And Father, we desire to have a nation that is run, oh God, by a prime minister and a president that knows you this evening, Father. So, Lord, we pray that your Holy Spirit will touch them, oh God, and reveal himself to them tonight, oh God. Father, oh God, nothing is impossible with you, oh God. Father, we may see, oh God, that that may be impossible, but with you, Lord, we come to you this evening, oh God, because you are a God that hears and answers prayer this evening, Father. And, Lord, you are more than able to touch. You are 
are more than able this evening to transform our life, oh God, and cause this nation, oh God, to rise up, oh God, and serve you this evening, oh God. Touch out, touch them, oh God, all those that are in authority, oh God, that your people may live a life of peace in this country, that will live a life that is in quietness this evening, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Father, we know that there are principalities and powers and rulers of darkness and spiritual wickedness operating in this country that have men going crazy, oh God, and corrupted, oh God, and the violence in this country. But we come this evening not as one, oh God. Your word said one will put a thousand, but two will put ten thousand. And we are more than two this evening, Father God. And Father, we come and we stand in the gap this evening, oh God, pulling down principalities, pulling down every demonic power operating in our country this evening in the name of Jesus. Every spiritual wickedness this evening, we pull it down in Jesus' name tonight, oh God. We trample over the works of the enemy tonight. Lord, where there are corrupted officers this evening, police officers, oh God, and wickedness this evening, Father, we pray, oh God, that you would expose them, oh God. Oh God, this evening we spoil the plot and, plot and plan and agenda of the enemy this evening, oh God. I pray that they will be found out, oh God. I pray that judgment will prevail upon them this evening, Father God, in the name of Jesus and our law-abiding citizen, oh God. Father, will be protected in this country, Father God. We cover every person in this country with the blood of Jesus this evening, oh God. Father, we pray, oh God, this evening, oh God, that you will turn the lives around, oh God, the people in this country around this evening. We come against the religious spirits upon our nation this evening, oh God. We break down principalities this evening. We break down the religious spirits and idolatry of our nation this evening that wants to take over, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father, oh God, we pray, oh God, this evening, Father, that Jesus Christ will be exalted in this nation, oh God. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, we come against the spirit of murder. We come against the spirit of violence and crime this evening. In the name of Jesus this evening. Oh God, Father, we pray this evening, oh God, that the bloodshed will stop, oh God, in our country, oh God. And Father God, I pray, oh God, and I plant the cross of Calvary upon our nation this evening. From the north and the south and the east and the west this evening, Father God, we pray for change. We pray the lives of the people in this nation will turn around, oh God, will turn from their sin and their wicked ways, oh God, and they will turn to the true and the living God this evening. So, Father God, we just thank you and we praise you this evening for what you have already done, oh God, and what you are going to do, oh God. We pray for peace upon our nation this evening, oh God. And Father, we thank you and we praise you in Jesus' mighty name, Lord. to your name, my God. We come to you tonight, O oh God, because we know who you are tonight. Our blessed Father, O oh God, who loves us, O oh God, that you sent your Son to die on the cross for our sins today, Lord, that we might be saved today, my God. Father, we thank you for your word, O oh God, that is imparted in our lives tonight, my God, that we, Lord, could humble our hearts and call upon you the name of Jesus, O oh God, to seek, and we seek your faith my God and not your hands tonight my God as we bless your holy name as we worship you as we enthrone you tonight my God we look to no on the left nor the right but we look to you oh God the author and the finisher of our faith tonight my God as we we call upon you tonight, oh God. We pray, oh God, for salvation tonight, my God. We pray, oh God, for our loved ones out here, oh God, who doesn't know you tonight, my God. We pray and we ask you, oh God, to just minister to them tonight, my God. Holy Spirit, go forth and minister to them tonight, my God. Soften up their hearts, oh God. Lord, and take us, oh God, as your people, Lord, that we will go and we will talk to them, Lord, and let them know that your love for 
us with all understanding, my God. Your love, Lord. You love them, Lord Jesus. And you want to save them tonight, my God. Father, I ask you, oh God, to have your divine way because of you tonight. We are here tonight in one accord, praising your name and praying and seeking your face tonight, my God. Faith, believing, knowing, oh God, that you are our God that hears our cry tonight, oh God, and you answers our prayer tonight, Lord, and you are in our going out and in our coming in tonight, my God, and we trust you in everything that we do tonight, my God. Father, I ask you, oh God, that our loved ones out here who doesn't know you, Lord, to come to know you tonight, my God. We pray, oh God, our desires to see that they get saved, oh God, that they can experience that love from you tonight, oh God, that love that, that you place in our hearts, oh God, and you love us, oh God, you protect us, oh God, that comfort day by day, my God. We thank you, oh God, for what you are about to do, my God. You touch them, you minister. Lord, when we go out, dear Lord, and we have receptive hearts, my God, I thank you for it, oh Lord God. We thank you for what you're about to do, my God, in no other name but in the name of Jesus. Father God, we lift up all the backsliders before you tonight, my God. We ask you, oh God, to bring them back, Lord. You said you are married to the backsliders tonight, Lord, and you don't believe in divorce, my God. God. So we pray and we ask you, oh God, that your Holy Spirit will equip them, oh God. So put a hook in their jaw and draw them back unto you, my God. Draw them back unto you, my God, and you will work a work in their lives, oh God. Where there is no hope, Lord, you will place hope, my God. You will place, oh God, every confidence, my God, they will have in you tonight, my God. You will touch, Lord. You will minister to them. You will love them. You will bind them together. Oh God, we love with that love. Oh God, that agape love tonight, my God. Father, we ask you to have your divine way, Lord. Tonight, we trust in you. There is no other God we trust in tonight, but you, mighty God. We thank you, oh God, for your awesome presence in our lives tonight, Lord. We know what that love is, Lord. We experience that love tonight, my God. And we ask you, oh God, to draw them back unto you, oh God, that they will have that one and one with you tonight, Lord. They will be able to trust in you and you will be able to, oh God, work a work in their lives tonight, my God. Father, we thank you for what you are about to do. We thank you for what you already done, my God. And we know, Lord God, that you are going to draw them back because your coming is soon, my God, and you wish that none should perish, but all should come to repentance, my God. And Father, we thank you for your awesomeness, oh God, your awesome presence tonight, my God. We look to you, oh God. We are standing in a gap for them, my God. We thank you for touching them, Lord God. You know them by name and nature, Lord Jesus. And we ask you to bring them back to your house, Lord. Bring them back to the, to the kingdom of God, my God, to the body of Christ, my God. You draw them back, Lord, from the north, the south, the east, and the west, Lord. You know where they are, oh God, hopeless tonight, my God. But we ask you, oh God, that you will be their hope tonight, my God. Lord, they will trust in you tonight, my God. Father, we thank you, oh God, for your goodness and your mercies, oh God. Your extended love, Lord God, we thank you for it, oh God. We thank you for working and working, no other name, but in a precious and holy name tonight, my God. Hallelujah, Lord, we thank you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We just thank you tonight, Lord. We give you the glory and the honor, oh God, due unto your highest name, oh God. Heavenly Father, we direct our praise to you tonight, oh God, in no other name but in Jesus' name. We praise you and we adore you tonight. Tonight, oh God, I just pray for the, that you bring back the joy in the hearts and the life of your people tonight, oh God. Bring back that joy that passed. All on, that peace that pass all understanding tonight, oh God. For the joy of the Lord is our strength tonight, oh God. Heavenly Father, you just bring back the joy in your people, oh God. 
Heavenly Father, we don't want to be cold. We don't want to be lukewarm, oh God. But to have that joy stored up in us, mighty God. Heavenly Father, tonight, oh God, we just thank you, oh God. We just thank you for your people tonight. We thank you for your church, oh God, that you will raise up a people, oh God, to be mighty men and women for you, oh God. Raise up your leaders tonight, oh God, that they will work for you, oh blessed Jesus. They will come in your finger and they will build, Heavenly Father, tonight, oh God. Raise up your leaders tonight, oh God. Raise up your people tonight, a chosen people, oh God, chosen by you, oh God, to worship and adore you tonight tonight, oh God. Heavenly Father, you just store up the gift that you have given us, blessed Jesus, tonight. Store up the gift and the passion, oh God, in our hearts, oh God, so we will work for you tonight, blessed Jesus. Heavenly Father, give us a fire, oh God, a fire that burns within, blessed Jesus. A fire, oh God, that you will rain down in your presence, oh God. Heavenly Father, oh God, let our prayers go up to you tonight, blessed Jesus. Stir up, uh, up tonight, blessed Jesus. Revive our spirit, oh God. Revive us, oh God, our minds, Lord, that we can tune into you, that we can stay connected to you, that we can look to the cross tonight, blessed Jesus. Heavenly Father, and if we fall by the wayside, oh God, you will pick us up as you pick up that vine, blessed Jesus, and put up on the trough tonight, so we will bring forth fruits tonight, blessed Jesus. You just raise us up tonight, mighty God. Heavenly Father, we, we will have a, a revival in our heart. We will have a joy, unspeakable joy tonight in our heart, mighty God. You just raise up your people. Raise up your build your leaders to be watchmen, oh God. Let us be strong for you. Let us be bulwarks in the faith tonight, oh God. So we will not go weary, Lord. We will not go tired, oh blessed Jesus. But we will stand in the gap tonight, oh God. For leaders tonight, oh God. Mighty leaders tonight, blessed Jesus. An army of leaders, oh God, to lead your people, oh God. Heavenly Father, tonight I just pray tonight that you raise us up that you raise us up mightily, blessed Jesus. We will work, oh God. We will look to you on the altar and finish our faith, oh God. We will look to the cross tonight, blessed Jesus. As we walk with you, oh God, all our footsteps tonight, all our footsteps, prepare the church for your coming tonight, blessed Jesus, because soon and soon you are coming, mighty God. Heavenly Father, we will walk with you, oh God, all our steps tonight, blessed Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. Father, tonight, not I, but you, Lord. Lord, tonight we serve a God who is not dead, but he is alive. And Father, Lord, I thank you for every prayer that was prayed here tonight, mighty God. Father, even right now, I lift up our nation before you, my God. Lord Jesus, I pray that everyone out here, oh God, will have a fear of the Lord. Mighty God, I pray, oh God, that we would respect you for who you are, oh God. No matter where we might be, oh God, you help us to remember that you are God. You are not a man, Father. You help us to work out our own salvation with fear and trembling tonight, mighty God. As Christians, my God, you help us to remember that we are the salt of this earth, oh God. You help us to season, my God. You help us to preserve, oh God, this nation. Mighty God, I pray, oh God, for unity among churches. Father God, we learn about that chord, oh God, that chord that is harmonious. And Father God, tonight I pray. Lord God, that you would help us, oh God, to come together as churches, to be as one. Father God, to lift up your name, oh God. Father, you help us to go out there and evangelize, oh God, as a body, in togetherness, oh God, in unity. Father God, help us to defend you, oh God, to not be ashamed. Lord, you called us here for a purpose, oh God. Now is the time, oh God, that you need us to work for you. Mighty God, you are always working for us. You are always fighting for for us. Father God, tonight I pray that you will give us the boldness to go forward, oh God, to magnify your name, to praise you, oh God, in spite of mighty God. Father God, even right now I pray again for us, oh God, as Christians, to be holy and effective in our Christian code of conduct. Mighty God, you help us to present our bodies as living sacrifices, holy and acceptable unto you, O oh God, no matter where we might go, O oh Father. I pray, O oh Lord 
Jesus, that you will help us to remember as Christians, oh God, to be each other's keeper, to rejoice with them that rejoice, to mourn with them that mourn. Father God, you help us to remember Romans chapter 12, oh God, and everything that is in it. Father God, even right now, I pray that you will help us to remember that as we get wise, oh God, the battles get stronger. And Father God, we will not look to our battles, oh God, but we will look on you. And when we rest in you, oh God, you work for us. And Father God, I just thank you, oh God, for all that you are going to do. You use us as Christians, mighty God. You use us to help save our nation, mighty God. Help us in this nation to work together in one accord. Nothing is impossible with you tonight, my God. You live and you died and you rose again on high. And Father God, we declare and we decree that everything that we have said here tonight, oh God, it will be done in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Lift your hands and glorify the Lord and thank Him. Thank you for answering prayer tonight. Let's give God thanks for what He has done. Thank you, Lord, for hearing our prayer tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Hear our prayer, Lord. Hear our cry tonight. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Our heart is overwhelmed, Lord. We come to the rock that is higher than I, that is higher than all of us tonight. We give you praise and glory. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Take control tonight, Lord. We thank you for every voice, every voice that call upon you tonight, Lord. Let your word, let your word go forth, Lord. Let your anointing go forth. Let your blessings be upon your people. Lead us in the path of righteousness, Lord. And Father, we thank you for the result. We look unto you, the author and finish of our faith. As we leave this place tonight, Lord, we leave with your anointing. We leave with your blessings. We leave with an established truth tonight in our hearts. We walk by faith and not by sight. Take us home safely, Lord. And Lord, keep us this week, Lord. Whatever our hands find it to do, Lord, help us to do it all our might and all our strength and all our mind, all our soul, Lord. Help us to put the best effort in it, Lord. Whatever we do, Lord, I pray it glorifies you. I pray it glorifies you. Help us to find a need and meet it, Lord. To find the hurt and heal it, Lord. To find a hand and hold it, Lord. To find a life and bless them, Lord. Lord, help us to be a blessing to someone. Everything you have given, you have given unto us, Lord, I pray, we'll use it. And we'll enjoy that blessing. I pray, God, it'll be a blessing in our lives and in the lives of others, Lord. Keep us this week, Lord. Bless everyone, Lord. Keep our nation. Keep everyone safe on the roadway, Lord. Lord, guide and protect, Lord. We covet your divine protection and providence and preeminence, Lord. Bless this church, bless every church, every minister, every carpenter, every laborer, Lord, everyone in the vineyard, Lord. Bless you. Raise up a strong Christian body in this nation, Lord, to stand against the wiles of the enemy, Lord, to bring down the horns and to destroy the horns and to destroy all, every destructive force, Lord. Father, we just thank you for who you are and all the resources you have given to us and blessed us with, Lord. We use it for your honor and for your glory. In the mighty name of Jesus, And everyone said, Amen and amen. Give the Lord a hand of praise tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Is that wonderful? You enjoy that tonight? We can make our request known to the Lord. You can go back to your seats. Praise the Lord. Isn't God good? Amen. Thank you, Jesus. We stand in agreement. We pray in agreement and believe God for a breakthrough. I want you to keep on praying. All right? Amen. Keep developing your prayer life. How many of you remember those things we talk about tonight? I want you to go back to the scriptures and get acquainted with it and understand what you're dealing with, all right? And let us let us make a commitment to pray for our nation and to continue praying until this election is over, all right? Amen? You do, will you make that commitment? Pray for this nation. Pray every day for this nation, all right? Praise the Lord. Um, we're going to be back here on Wednesday night. God, 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 God willing, we'll be back here on Wednesday night. Keep everyone in prayer. All the needs I mentioned this morning, I want you to keep that in prayer and keep one another in prayer. We're trusting God for a great week this week. Amen. Praise the Lord. All right, ushers, would you please go ahead and take up your offering tonight? And uh, for those of you who have tuned in tonight, thank you for joining us in this prayer meeting. We'll be back again on Wednesday night. We look forward for a great time in the present Lord. Until then, have a great week. Keep looking up. Your redemption draws nigh. Trust God for everything. Don't worry about anything. Cast all your cares upon Him. He cares for you. Jesus loves you and so do we. Have a great night. God bless you. Praise the Lord.
And all of you, have a great night. The Lord bless you. Be safe on your way home. Um, you want us to pray for you, Brother Michael? Just come and stand. We're going to pray for Brother Michael. He'll be leaving on Wednesday and would not be able to come back until around end of August or so. In a few months, we want to pray. I need a few men to come and stand with him. Praise the Lord. We want to pray for me. Let's all stand before we go and we pray that the Lord will just grant him favor in his business and favor in what he's pursuing. And God will bless him and use him and anoint him for ministry. Praise the Lord. How many believe God is able? Amen. Amen. You believe on Wednesday? And we'll be back until in a few months' time. We pray God will just minister his grace take care of his business here in, in his absence that God will give him favor with his business. Amen? Amen? Praise the Lord. Brother Dave, will you just do the honors? Will you? Father, we give you praise and we give you thanks, Lord. Father, we thank you, God, for who you are in our lives, O oh God. And Father, we know, God, that everything that we commit to you, Lord, that you are well able to keep, O oh God. And Father, even as Brother Michael, O oh God, as he journeys to his family, O oh God. Father, we pray, God, that your spirit would go before him, O oh God, and make straight the way, O oh God. And Father God, I declare, God, that he's going to continue to stay under your anointing, O oh God. God, that he would continue to lean not onto his own understanding, but he's going to continue to depend upon you, O oh God, to order and direct his steps, O oh God. Father God, tonight I declare, God, that he's going to continue under the favor of God, Lord. Your favor is going to continue to be upon his life, O oh God. And Father, as your favor continues in his life, O oh God, that he would understand his strength is in you, O oh God. And Father, he would draw his strength from you, God. Father, even when he becomes weak, O oh God, he would know, God, that he's strong in you, O oh God. And Father, even as you strengthen him, O oh God, even as you give him your favor, Lord, Father, I declare your anointing is going to continue to be upon his life, O oh God. Father, all three, O oh God, is going to be his blessing, O oh God, that he would continue to walk in, O oh God. God, he's your child, O oh God. And Father, you continue to give him divine wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, O oh God. And Father, you continue to have your way in his life, in his family life, O oh God. Father, God, you strengthen him, his wife, his children, O oh God. Father, continue to give them all favor in your presence, Lord. Father, you will continue to work, O oh God, in that family, Lord, that they would continue to be a family that would live, O oh God, to exalt, O oh God, your name, O oh God, to live above reproach, O oh God. And Father, we just commit them into your hands, God, and we say, God, you continue to protect him, provide for him, Lord. Father, give him that peace that passes all understanding, O oh God. Father, help him not to worry, God, but God to continue to trust you and have his faith and confidence in you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.